All right, welcome to the Vault Report, VCU Rams edition. I'm here with Rams head coach Ryan Odom. VCU currently 18 and 9, 10 and 4 in the A10. Last day, last days of February, coach. How are we feeling? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all, you know, excited for, you know, what's to come, you know, the end of the season here and and uh, you know, everyone's competing for, you know, position, you know, within the conference and and looking forward to you know, March is right here, right? You know, which is the best time of year for college basketball. Absolutely. And, you know, I want to start with the last game against St. Joe's. You know, kind of second game in a row, a little bit of a slow start. This one you guys do pull yeah. out. You know, Toby tied a career high. You know, Joe kind of took over there at the end. But just the ability for you guys as a team to have multiple guys step up when you need them. Just talk about, you know, again, pulling it out. But again, you know, another slow start and what you guys need to do to kind of improve that moving forward. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it happens, right? You're not going to be clicking on all cylinders at all times, you know, throughout the season. And uh, certainly we had a, a rough game up at UMass, but you got to give them a ton of, ton of credit. They played really well uh, in that game. And uh, we struggled scoring. But the more disappointing thing up there was our defense, you know, was not where it had been uh, so far this season. And, you know, if you're not scoring, you know, you, your defense should be able to, to help you out of those situations. And um, certainly that was the case the other night, you know, against St. Joe's here at home. You know, we got off to another slow offensive start, uh, but our defense was solid in that first half and, and, and kept it pretty tight and uh, within striking distance there heading into the second half. And, and then we began to play much freer, much better on offense, you know, in that second half. But, We've always felt that, you know, the depth of our team, you know, could eventually become a strength for us uh, early in the season. Obviously, that wasn't the case because of, you know, the circumstances that we were dealt. Sean's foot, Joe not being able to play. And then we once those guys got back right at the beginning of conference play, you know, we had a couple other guys get get hurt. You know, Zeb misses two games and, and uh, then Sean misses another one. Uh, or another two. Um, and so that, that kind of hurt us, but at the same time, uh, you know, we feel, we feel confident in where we're at and uh, we're excited about, you know, the depth of this team, you know, because certainly it is a strength uh, that we want to try to try to utilize. Definitely. And, you know, you guys have been since conference play, you know, especially your last 11. I mean, you guys have obviously picked it up a notch, here you are again, you know, 10 and four in the 8 10. You're in that double by position. You know, looking at the start of conference play to where you guys are now, uh, you know, you everyone, every coach says you want to peak in March. What do you feel most comfortable with in, with, in regard to this team, the steps that you guys have made from the beginning 8 10 play? And where, again, it's still kind of this reminder, the focus still for improvement, you know, again, in these last, last several games before the conference tournament. Yeah, I mean, I've I've told the guys multiple times they have a lot to be proud of, you know, to start, you know, four and five, you know, eight and seven, oh and two in the conference, right? And to kind of flip that and turn it around, uh, not easy to do, especially in the tough conference that we have here. And uh, you know, our first, we lost and we lost our first two home games, you know, which makes it doubly hard, you know, to do because you'd like to you'd like to think you you'd be able to you know, take care of some of the home games and we didn't do it. Um, and so our guys didn't whine about it. You know, they just got in the gym and, and worked and, you know, our defense picked up and, uh, and helped us, you know, through some situations uh, on the road. Uh, those two, two, the first two games were key for us at Mason and then at, at LaSalle and, uh, you know, gave us a little bit of confidence. And then, you know, that, that home stretch was important as well too, to kind of get us, get us back where we needed to be and, and uh, on that upward trajectory. But conference play is tough. And, you know, the key for any team, you know, that aspires to compete for a championship or play, you know, in postseason is you have to continue to evolve and improve over the course of the season. And, you know, I think this got, this team has shown signs that it's continuing to get better. Um, we're certainly not perfect. And, and that's not the goal. The, the goal is to, you know, is to win and uh, and you have to find ways to win, you know, in tough situations. And I think this team is, has found some, you know, grit, some toughness, you know, some resolve, some resiliency there. Um, and it's learned how to win together and while trusting one another. And I think, 
you know, one of the things that's shined for us is that we've, we've had multiple guys, you know, in different games at key moments, you know, step up for our team to give us, you know, a boost. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it certainly is about execution. Um, you have to be able to execute on both sides of the ball to, in order to win games. And, uh, you know, we've got, you know, uh, not a lot of basketball left to be played within the regular season. And so every possession, you know, is critical, you know, as you, as you head into March. Definitely. And, and speaking of, you know, I want to talk about the upcoming game, but just, you know, Shulga, a guy, another guy who has obviously stepped up for you guys, you know, he just, I believe, I think it's nine points till he gets to his thousand point, you know, career mark, which as an individual thing, obviously is a meaningful uh, and impressive feat. You've been with him, um, you know, you've seen his growth, just what he means, not just to VCU, but just to you personally seeing his growth, his evolution as a player and as a person. Yeah, I'm really proud of Max. You know, Max, you know, we when we first got out to Utah State, you know, he had just finished his freshman year. And that was, you know, coming out of that COVID season, which was, you know, kind of, you know, a weird year for everybody anyway. And, um, you know, he, uh, you know, right away, you could tell there was some talent there. And um, and so, you know, he didn't get to play as much that 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 sophomore year, my first year at Utah State, you know, but he stayed with it. He kept working in the gym. He loves basketball. Um, you know, he really improved over the course of that season, um, became more of a reliable player on both sides of the ball and showed some real promise. We began to play him later in the season. Uh, we had some injuries and and uh, he ended up you know, getting some time in there. He actually started a game, you know, which gave gave us a ton of confidence in him because he performed really well in that game. And uh, and that kind of set him up for that next year, which was last year. And he was it was pretty evident that, you know, he was going to be a full-time starter for us. And we needed him to be, you know, for the growth of, of, him, of him and the program. And he's continued that here. We're blessed that, you know, he wanted to come and, and uh, you know, spend the remainder of his career here with us. You know, at VCU, he really loves this place. Um, you know, he's really hit it off, you know, with his teammates here and the people here in the community and and certainly, um, you know, the greater VCU community here on campus. And, um, you know, he's he's played really well for us, as you know. He's been a vital player for us. You know, he, he he's, he's had some huge games, you know, over the course of this season. And – you know, has been there in the end to make big plays for us to help us win, and and uh, has been a great teammate all along. So, been really fun to to go about this year with him. And as we talked, you know, not not many left. Uh, one of those left is you know home matchup with Rhode Island uh, on Wednesday. You know, a team that you know has had its ups and downs. Currently, you know, has has lost four straight, but also you know has gone through some win streaks. It's the A ten, no easy games at all. What have you seen from the tape from this team who, again, who has shown flashes um, at different parts of the season? Yeah, I mean, obviously they, they, they weren't necessarily themselves. Some of the, some were similar to us, you know, at the, in the UMass game. You know, you watch the tape of them. You know, they, they have an amazing coach. You know, Archie's, you know, uh, coached at different spots. Obviously has had a ton of success in this league and outside of this league and uh, played himself and uh, is a very is a great competitor. And when you watch his teams play offensively, you know, they're very well balanced. You know, they, they share the ball. Uh, they, they put pressure on you immediately in transition. Uh, they attack you. They force you to foul them. Uh, they execute, you know, in terms of getting the ball inside and, and uh, creating opportunities, you know, near the basket uh, for one another. And so, it's a tough matchup, you know, for anyone. And that's how this league is this year. And, um, you know, defensively, you know, they've got physical bodies and uh, they've had, you know, they've had some games where they've played exceptional basketball and uh, he's got a, he's got a young group too, you know, he's, he's got a promising, you know, future there for, for this roster and this team. Um, and we know it's going to be tough. You know, they're coming off a game where they were down a player, right. And down a starter. And that's not easy to do you know, certainly at this time of year. And uh, we certainly know that they're going to be ready to play. Um, and anytime you're coming off of a loss like that and one that doesn't feel good, uh, there's a sense of urgency there, you know, to, to play better, you know, and compete harder. And certainly we expect that, you know, from them in this particular game. But, 
you know, we certainly have to focus on ourselves and we have to play our basketball and, and, um, you know, and compete, you know, really hard. We understand it's going to be a difficult challenge and, uh, you know, we've got to do our best to, you know, to take care of business, you know, here at home and, uh, you know, our last game before heading on the road. Definitely. Well, listen, coach, I appreciate the time. No, it's busy. Uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll talk soon, but thank you. You got it.